Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what re resonates and don't manifest the rest. Okay. Action needed to ease transition. You're going through a transition right now, Pisces. Four of Swords. I think I got enough tea in me now. Enough caffeine. What is the second card? What support you have? It's the truth. The support that you have here in this situation is the truth. You just found it out. walking away from it. Number three. What what you will gain from this? Two of Pentacles. We will clarify all this. Damn. What you need to let go of. A belief system. just a little bit and then the higher guidance for the situation Ooh, Pisces Choose the lie or choose the truth, okay? But I do feel like there's some really hot energy here that's really hard to resist. You have a brand new passionate beginning with someone, and that is what the higher guidance is to choose that brand new passionate beginning, whatever it might be. It looks like it's a person very good looking person very good looking let's clarify what is this four of swords as the action needed to ease this transition healing of course Probably from some pretty toxic shit. Wrong, wrong deck. Let's see what it was, just in case. That ah, two of wands. A choice, a big choice. Loving yourself. Empress energy. You want to do what's fair for everybody here, Pisces, and I feel like you're letting something go with love. Ace of Cups. It was a brand new beginning in love, and and you wanted it. Could be a mother or a mother figure. But as you thought about it, you just want to be fair. Fair to yourself, fair to them, and this is what needs to be healed. Maybe they didn't leave you any choice, Pisces. 
Maybe they didn't leave you any choice. Huge lie. What support do you have? I see the universe here. You have a collaboration going on, and it's the truth. Because you walked away from a situation when you found out the truth, you made a different choice. Eight of Pentacles, you chose work. You chose the truth. You chose to cut a bitch. You chose your justice. You got Virgo, Libra, Libra, Taurus, so far, okay? You chose the truth over the lie. You cut a bitch. And you began to manifest your justice. You can see it in the mirror. All right. So number three is, what will you gain from this? Two of Pentacles. Please clarify, what will you gain from this? Strength. I'm going to take it. Doesn't belong in this deck, but I'm going to take it. A dream come true. Something you wished for for a very, very, very long time. You're about to receive a message from somebody that is missing you, that is sad and has regretted the way that they treated you. Could have Leo in their chart, they could be a Scorpio. But they're bringing you a message that they are sad because named now realize the truth that it was manipulated the whole time so now you have an older person here not older like an older but um, you have now I have three people on the board so I feel like you have an old love that's coming back and a new love that's showing up. What do you need to let go of? Something about your beliefs. You need to take a risk. Whatever is holding you back, Pisces, look, whatever is holding you back from your joy is what you need to release. And as soon as you do, your manifestations will start coming true. Whatever this love was that you had for somebody that somebody didn't want, you were a gift to them. They didn't want it. Now, this is what you have to let go of. Something you really, really wanted. Something you manifested. Some kind of work. But it was toxic. Lots of energies coming in here. I'm going to need more information on that because I feel like that was a toxic work situation. 
you made it happen, but then you realized that it was bringing your vibe down and you couldn't do it no more. Now you've got a brand new beginning here. You got entrepreneurship. Spirit's advice is to let go, Pisces. Make the choice. Stop watching things that do not bring you joy. Stop. Because I'll tell you, when you're, I say, I'm just going to give you a for instance here. Like, this is something I didn't do, but it's something that other people do. Um, it's like they see their ex happy and with another person and going on trips and going on vacations and things like that. And they can't let go of that. They, they, it makes them sad. It makes them, it takes away their joy. Stop watching them, Pisces. Stop watching them. And watch the sun manifest for you instantly as soon as you let go. That is Spirit's advice here. I want to know what this devil is about in this. I got Aquarius, I got Scorpio, I got Leo, Leo heavily. Virgo, Libra, Scorpio again. And now I've got the Four of Cups again, letting go. Sorry, guys. Queen of Wands in reverse. The Chariot and the Sun. This is somebody you really love. could be a relative, a mother, a daughter. Something you really love. You have to let go of it. Even if it hurts. It's toxic. There's no way to fix it this at this time. Sorry. What is this walking away and not paying attention? That's what you need to do. As higher guidance here, it's telling me you need to walk away into the sun. Because look, As soon as you make this decision, Pisces, you walk straight into the sun. And everything that you want, I believe that's a great tower. We're going to check. You need to stop watching. <clears throat> Excuse me. Other people's lives. He said, mother, daughter, boss, you need to stop comparing yourselves to them. Forgive them and walk straight into that Empress energy because it's waiting for you.
time to stop communicating with these people or persons. It's time for you to cut off communication. Go no contact for at least a little while. It's the only way you're going to be able to heal. Everything's in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. This person could be at a distance from you. But you have to let go. Maybe even possibly go no contact. What is this death about? What is this death about? I see children here. I don't know what that means. I feel like somebody... May have, now this might not be for everybody, but I feel like somebody may have taken children away from you. Something that you really wanted in your life. And you're not, like, it's like you, you got no choice but to let it die. So you can move into your greatest good, your highest good. What you will gain, stability, possibly marriage. Somebody is letting go of old beliefs. This could be you, this could be the, the other person. I, I feel like this is another person. Three of Wands, the Devil, and the Five of Wands. This person is extremely, extremely jealous and hateful. Even if you love them, even if you've told them that they are everything to you, this person is, ext is extremely hateful, resentful, and wants to tear down everything that you've built. They think it's only a matter of time before you go back to your old ways. And it's not happening. I'm having a hard time talking today, guys. My stand, my mouth hurts. Um, You're not falling for the bullshit anymore. No matter how much they can't stand you, you feel like time will heal all. There is marriage and magic here for you. You will be rewarded for your sacrifice. Because I feel like this sacrifice gave you no choice. They gave you no choice but to let go. Sorry. I'm starting to cry a little bit. My bad. Wow. Like I said, it's just some, gosh, this is getting on my nerves. Distant horizons. But on the distant horizon for you, house, mature man, community, 
adjudication, a new journey. that will lead to distant horizons. Whoever this person is coming in that wants to marry you, Pisces, they, I mean, that is, they are on the same vibration as you. There is something, however, standing in the way, so I see a, about a three month time period here. with the distant horizons. You, need, you still need healing from this situation. And take that time. Take that time. Stop paying attention to what everybody else is doing and take that time to heal. So this tower that comes is a good one because like I said it's coming and you manifested it through your truth you made it happen now the only challenge here from spirit is for you to let go of what no longer is and walk straight into the sun, my loves. I'm gonna pull you hidden realms. Then I'm gonna pull one for each sign. Yes, you guys get two readings today. The dream walker in reverse and the lady of lightning. There's the shocking news. Okay. Don't know if this has happened to you yet or not, but there's definitely some shocking news coming your way. Dreams, the collective good and illusions. I had a weird dream last night. I had a dream I was in a in a room full of elves and and they were all really hot. These guys they were really like super hot. There were women and men. Surprises sometimes shock and a total paradigm shift is happening for you right now. That's why it's going to take time. And the dream walker in reverse. Number five, another five. Lots of changes taking place in your life. Pisces, lots of changes. Here it is. This is the number eight. And it comes as a challenger. The dream walker challenges you to wake up from your restless sleep in which you're not dreaming at all. This is a time to remind yourself of your passion and the aspirations you may have left behind. Perhaps you should reconsider and allow yourself your precious dreams again. Don't give them up. There is always a way that they can return to you as long as you don't try to dictate the forms they take. Another way the dream walker challenges you is when you're in the middle of a nightmare brought to you by others, brought, brought in by you or others. Wake up. And don't struggle, for she reminds you that the divine will lead you out of the bad dream and into a much better one. This too shall pass. Be mindful that you have a unique and special purpose. You're always actively influencing your reality through your thoughts and reactions to life's challenges. Nice. All right, now we get the fun stuff. Shadow messages from each sign. What we got going on here? Aries. 
I know you're watching me. Stop watching them. Taurus, I want to tell you so much. Gemini, I know you more than you think. Libra, or no. Why did I say Libra? Because it's Libra season. I'm just going to pull this for Libra. You set it to the side. Cancer. We are more alike than I'd like to admit. Leo, I was careless with you. Virgo, <laughs> I'm waiting for an apology. <gasps> Scorpio, we are not right for each other. I don't know about that. Sagittarius, you're so easy to see through, really. Capricorn, I never want to feel that way again. Aquarius, I am happy that it's over. Hmm. Pisces, I've been struggling. Indeed you have, my dears. Indeed you have. And you to everyone else, what the hell did you want from me? My life? Well, you can't have that. Sorry. Wrong door. But you do have somebody coming in towards you that wants to marry you, Pisces. And whether you say yes or no is up to you, but you manifested this, and it is your justice, and it is your truth. There are things to take into consideration here. Not this person, this person. All right? And from what I can see, it... Whew, damn. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> Please remember to press that like button, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.